that is just hammered. Soft bounce. Center of the bunker trying to fade. Oh. And it didn't. Oh my gosh, there'll be serious stance issues here. You got to think. Mm-hmm. For sure. That goes great. You know, if it comes over left, that's great. You go with that. Yeah. I mean, okay. I mean, that thing is so far above your feet. I you know? know. And if you hit it in that bunker, that's not a bad spot. That bunker lip I'm shooting is 233 with plus six, 240. Okay. 230, 239. Okay. okay? You're right, Trevor. He's going to try to go to right. as far up as he Touch can. Hurt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's 225 to the front. Yeah. That's a four iron in his hand. And they're talking like if he gets the right strike on it, it could carry up there. But wow, look how far down the grip he's going. Almost at knee level. I think he just really got a great feel for it once he got in there now. It might have been more extreme than he thought. Yeah. This is where all that core stability work is going to come in handy. Well, I don't know if you hit a four iron or a Louisville slugger. <laughs> Let's watch the legs here. He's going to need some leg stability. Make sure you get a good strike. Aiming way right to account for the lie. That's a wonderful shot. It's the perfect leave. He has the option to try to fly it on top, and he's making a swing that suggests he might. That's what I would do, honestly, and just take that little bit of guesswork out if it lands on that upslope. Fly it all the way up there, he'll be able to stop it dead. Pretty good. To win it all.